Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, I thank you and I praise you as I come today, Lord God. I commit my ways to you. I dedicate myself to be all that you purpose me to be in your word. And so I come in faith. I come yielded and I come surrendered. I thank you according to 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 that I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. So I walk as this new creature in the new things, Lord God. Father, leaving the old things behind. I thank you, Lord God, that I press toward the mark. I reach forth to those things which are before me. I thank you according to 1 Peter 2 and 9, Lord God, that I acknowledge that I am a part of the chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation. I thank you that I'm a peculiar person, that I'm strange set apart for your purposes, oh God, that I don't fit into the things of this world. I thank you, Lord God, I've been set apart, Lord God, to glorify you. And I thank you that I show forth the praises of him who has called me out of darkness and into his marvelous light. So I walk in the light, Lord God, and I thank you that I turn away from darkness because it is the of the old things that and I thank you that they're passed away. And so, God, I thank you for doing a good work in me, continuing to perform this good work that you began in me until Christ Jesus. And so, God, I thank you according to Ephesians 2 and 10, Lord God, that I am your workmanship. I am your masterpiece, Lord God, that I've been created in Christ Jesus unto good works. And I thank you, Lord God, that you ordained me to walk in them. And so I walk in the good works that you have set before me. I walk in your word and your will for your glory. And so, God, I thank you today, Lord God, hallelujah, for recreating me making me a new creature. I thank you, Lord God, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as I go forward, Lord God, I don't walk in guilt and shame of the past. I thank you, Lord God, Romans 8 and 1 tells me that there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And so, God, I thank you today that I'm not walking, Lord God, Father, in guilt and shame, because I thank you that I walk after the spirit, because those that are led by the spirit of God are sons of God. And so, God, I thank you, Lord God, for your Holy Spirit, God, guiding and leading and directing me, that I'm mortifying the deeds of the flesh, that I no longer walk after a carnal mind in the flesh, but Father, I thank you that I've been yielded unto you, walking, Lord God, Father, in a spirit of repentance, Lord God, Father, constantly confessing, Lord God, Father, my sins before you, and your word says that you are faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I thank you that I've been forgiven. I thank you that I've been cleansed. I thank you there's no condemnation. I thank you, Lord God, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God that I am your child because your word says as many as received him to them gave he power to become sons of God and to them that believe on his name and I thank you Lord God that I received Jesus Christ and I believe on his name and I thank you Lord God for adopting me into your family that I am your child I am your heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ Lord, I just thank you and praise you, Lord God, that according to John 15 and 5, I am reminded that Jesus is divine and I am a branch and I am in him and he is in me and I bring forth much fruit. I thank you, Lord God, without him, I know that I can do nothing, but I am reminded in Philippians 4 and 13 that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So God, I thank you that I'm without excuse, that I bring forth much fruit, that I am productive in the things that I do, that you bless the work of my hands as I meditate on your word day and night. I thank you that I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I thank you that my leaf will not wither. I thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that I'm bearing fruit in this season. And so, God, I rejoice today in that you have called me, Lord God, out of darkness, that you have called me into purpose. And so, God, I thank you today that I honor you not just with my lips, but with my life, because I am reminded in 1 Corinthians 6 and 19 that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in me. And I thank you, God, that I glorify you in my body. I thank you. I know that I was purchased with the precious blood of Jesus. I know, Lord God, that my body is the temple of God and the Holy Ghost abides in me. And so, God, I'm led by the Spirit. I'm filled with the Spirit and I'm covered, Lord God, in your anointing. And so, God, I thank you for your word that reminds me, Lord God, Father, that I've been given this power, that 1 John 4 and four lets me know, Lord God, that I have overcome because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And so God, thank you for your Holy Ghost. Lord God, thank you for your spirit. Thank you for enabling and empowering me to do all things through Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah for the supernatural strength that you strengthen, help, and hold me up. And so God, I thank you, Lord God, today that I'm an overcomer through my faith. I thank you that I'm not conformed to this world, but I'm transformed by the renewing of my mind. And I thank you that I walk in your perfect will. And so God, thank 
you today that I'm not fearful of anything because I trust you and you have not given me a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind according to 2 Timothy 1 and 7 and so God I thank you today Lord God that I walk by faith and not by sight because the just shall live by faith and so God I thank you today Lord God that I am fearfully and wonderfully made according to Psalm 139 and 14. I thank you according to John 15 and 16 that I am chosen. I thank you, Lord God, Romans 8 and 37 remind me that I am more than a conqueror through him who loved me. And so, God, I walk as a more than a conqueror. I walk as a chosen child of God. I am humbled under your mighty hand that you will exalt me in due season. I thank you, Lord God, that I don't puff up myself. I thank you that I don't boast in myself, but I boast in you, God, because I walk in love. I thank you, Lord God, that I, Lord God, commit myself and dedicate myself to walk, Lord God, in love love with others, to live peaceably among others as much as possible because your word says so. I thank you that I overcome evil with good. I thank you that I walk, Lord God, Father, in the steps that you ordered for me. I thank you according to Romans 6 and 14 that sin has no dominion over me. I thank you, Lord God, that your word reminds me that nothing separates me from your love in Romans 8, 38 and 39. And so, God, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you that all of my needs are provided through you according to Philippians 4 and 19. I thank you that you supply all my need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So I'm not worried about anything. I'm not anxious about anything, but I pray about all things that I have the peace of God that passes all understanding, keeping my heart and mind according to Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. And so God, I thank you today, Lord God, that I go forth today, Lord God, as a child of God, I go forth today in faith. I walk in love and I walk in peace. I thank you, Lord God, Father, that my mind has stayed on you and I have perfect peace because I trust you according to Isaiah. 26 and 3. And so, God, thank you for purging and pruning and cleansing me. Thank you, Lord God, for perfecting me, guiding me, leading me. I have on the whole armor of God that I may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I'm not wrestling against flesh and blood today. I thank you, Lord God, Father, this is a spiritual warfare and I use spiritual weapons and not carnal. And so, God, I thank you in the name of Jesus that I go forward today after the Spirit. I go forward in your will. I go forward today, Lord God, Father, walk in, Lord God, according to your plans, your purposes. And so, Father, I pray Pray that you would have your way. I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you, which is my reasonable service. I draw near to you that you would draw near to me according to your word. I thank you, Lord God, Father, that I go forward today as a child of God, living for you, Lord God, walking with you, submitted to you, trusting in you, and listening and hearkening unto your voice, obeying your commands. And I thank you, Lord God, that as I go forward, it is my desire to bring glory and honor and praise to your name. I thank you for who you are and all that you're doing in me all that you've already done. And I thank you for what you're about to do. And it is in the mighty matchless, powerful name of Jesus that I pray and say, hallelujah and amen.